Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have a fun little drawing of this lady here using mostly Tombow watercolor markers. And what's nice about Tombow watercolor markers is you can use them for a variety of things. Here's some other things I've been drawing and painting with them. And I have the full original set. There may be newer ones out now, but uh, these are a gazillion fun colors here. And of course they're dual tip brush markers. So one end has the brush tip and then the other hand has the small um, a fine liner which you could use for more detail work on top and of course you can use them as is or you can activate them with water and get a watercolor look which I like to do so I'm just quickly drawing out this lady here with what's equivalent to a micron type pen it's with bleed proof ink and um, nice to draw with and I have a variety of pen tips with those as you're watching today, don't forget to give a like and subscribe and share this video. You can also save it to Pinterest and do save it, share it with Instagram, all those great places, all the things. <laughs> so I put some on a piece of pla uh, plastic packaging. I just scribbled a little of the ink on there and then activated it with water. And that was uh, that it's like using it like a palette that way. So you don't. So you get sort of a lighter, um, transparent look there. And then I am dropping with the wet on wet technique <clears throat> and then getting her hair wet. Uh, it looks a little blue because I didn't clean my brush very well. And again, putting some onto that plastic packaging and using it like a palette. And just if you want the softer lines um, to do it that way. Otherwise, you could just color right on there, which I think I do here in a little bit. <laughs> and... Um, I kind of messed up her shirt a little bit. It was a little bit busy, but um, in the end, I <laughs> was um, made it fine. But um, I just went ahead and went and dried it with my heat tool over there. And then I'm taking the fine tip end and kind of drawing on top of there. Yeah, there are a variety of markers on. I'm not, I've not had a ton of success with markers outside of Tombow. I don't know what it is, the whole alcohol marking marker world. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't seem to, don't seem to get it. So I, I, I love the watercolor markers I do fine with, but for some reason, the other ones, people make some beautiful, beautiful things with them. I don't know. It just isn't, Hasn't worked with me yet. We'll see. <laughs> but anyways, so um, I enjoy my tombos though. And then you, of course you could do brush lettering with them as well. And I'll do sorts of techniques with those. Um, so now I'm just giving her some blush. And again, layering on top of her skin tone there. And basically that's all there is to it. They're fun to work with. Very versatile very easy to travel with and um, and obviously color with on the go. All you would need is like put a little travel brush with some water in the barrel and then a piece of paper towel and you've got everything you need. So <laughs> you just bring a handful of colors, but they are fun to use and um, comfortable to use. And I like the brush tip end especially. I think that they make a nice tip in that they work really well. They're not too squishy and yet they're not so firm that you can't do things with it. Um, but yeah, it's fun. It's fun to paint. Whatever. <laughs> I was just going down in my studio trying to get some things down on paper just to work that brain. Going in with an older Jane Davenport gold uh, pen there to give it some sparkle. Thanks for joining me guys. I hope that you get down into your supplies and create something wonderful today. Have a blessed day.